Hi, mascara time. Okay, this is our 3D mascara, Moostrux 3D Fiber Lashes Plus mascara. Now this product is amazing. You can see I've got it on this eye and not on this eye. Just look how much it opens up my eye and the eye without any mascara on just looks a little bit sad and droopy. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in. So you can slide it out and there's our model on the front. Flip it open and there's some tips on application. Open up the box and you'll find a little pouch and you'll find a little pamphlet that has some application tips and just some information about the product in general. Okay, so this pouch, it's really reusable. So once your fiber lashes are finished, you don't need to throw the pouch out. You can keep it. I use mine to store my eye, eye brushes in, lip liners, eyeliners. So the list is endless to what you could use this for again. So don't throw it out. You will find something to put in there. Okay. So open the package, the pouch, and take out the product. So we have two tubes. We have a big tube, which is the gel, and we have a little tube, which are the fibers. Okay, they both have little windows on them, and they will tell you what they are. So this one says transplanting gel, and this one says the fibers. Okay, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply the 3D Fiber Lashes Plus Mascara. Okay, so it's three steps. That's all it is, three simple steps. And it's just like applying mascara as you would regularly, okay? So I like to go GFG, gel fibers gel, okay? So first we start with the transplanting gel. If you want, you can give your lashes a little bit of a comb with a lash comb just to help separate them. But if you don't want to, that's fine. Okay, so our new wand is fantastic okay inside there's a little um, stopper thingy that helps pull all the excess um, gel off so your wand comes out nice and clean okay I've got my mirror here so let's let's apply the mascara shall we okay so remember it's gel first and it is simply the same as applying mascara so you just give your lashes a good coating of the gel because the fibers need something to stick to. Okay. So once you've applied the transplanting gel, pop the wand back in the tube and then we get our fibers. So remember the fibers are the small tube. So I like to unscrew it pull it out slowly and I just like to give it a little brush on the edge as I'm pulling it out that just gets rid of any loose fibers and then this is super easy as well it's just the same as applying the mascara you just focus on your mid length to the ends okay so mid to ends Okay, so usually I would do that on one eye, then let it dry while I do the other eye. But because I've already done the other eye, I will just let it dry for a little bit. So this product is buildable too. You can apply one coat, you can apply two coats, you can apply three coats. It's up to you. You will get an average of 500% of up to 500% increase in volume and length. Okay. So they don't take long to dry at all. So we're back to putting on the final step, which is the gel. We need to put the gel on at the end so that it seals the fibers to our lashes. Okay, so it's simply the same as putting on mascara again. So you want to give them a good coating of the gel again so that they stay where they are. Okay, if you coordinated, you can go over the top, so like that, and then back up again. Okay, and that's how easy it is. Just look at the difference. 
okay so no false lashes at all just mascara and they clean off easily at the end of the day with your facial cleanser or a cleansing wipe that will just rub right off um, they're not waterproof but they are water resistant so if you get water splashed on your face as long as you don't rub them they're going to be fine okay so if you have any questions just let me know bye